hello everyone welcome to my channel world of aws i hope you all are doing good so in this video we are going to discuss about yaml so if you are working as a devops engineer or uh, cloud admin or uh, as a developer then you must aware of yaml language but if you don't know what is yaml then don't worry i will cover it from scratch to advance okay but as a devops engineer or cloud admin or uh, as a developer you must know uh, what is yaml and how to write different type of uh, yaml file uh, like according to your different type of requirement of configuration file of your application okay so let me walk you through this yaml is ain't another markup language yaml is human readable data serialization format often used for configuration file as i told you we mostly used to write yaml for configuration file of our application okay so uh, it's also uh, do data exchange between language and more okay it's commonly used in software development and system administration okay so we have some huge cases of yaml here so we mostly use yaml in configuration file writing okay mm, it's widely used format because of the easy syntax and human readable okay for different devops tool and application like uh, docker kubernetes and civil and prometheus okay so in docker you can create docker image writing uh, yaml file you can create pod container uh, and any many more things in the kubernetes and in ansible you can write your server configuration file using yaml and in prometheus you can also write your prometheus.yml that is your configuration file for prometheus to collect the data from the uh, target ec2 or somewhere else where your data is getting stored from there prometheus will cache all the data and we can also use tool to validate our yaml file let me show you uh yaml validator you just have to type and you can like let me write one common file okay sorry so i have written i have uh, written this file just a for to show you how we can validate our yaml file so just we have to click on go and we can see our yaml file is valid so that's it for this video i hope you found this video informative so and helpful please don't forget to subscribe my channel and you can also check my other playlist that i have created for aws and uh, some other topic as well so thanks see you in the next video of yaml